Hey guys, Richard from the Pokey family here again. Um, so, there's a little tale to tell about this video. Overall, as you can probably tell from the, the title screen, this video is about Lugia. Um, but today, I was uh, at the wildlife park in Yorkshire and I was filming videos on how to counter the legendary titans. I've already put a video out on how to counter the dragon twins. <laughs> so I thought that they would be coming next. Following the linear progression that Niantic have established, it seemed like that was what is what what was going to be next. But to my surprise, in the middle of shooting one of the videos, I happened to look down and a news update appeared on the Pokemon Go app, and it reads. Legendary Pokemon Lugia soars back to rare battles in Pokemon Go. The legendary Pokemon Lugia will return to rare battles in Pokemon Go on March 16th. A powerful, psychic and flying type Pokemon originally discovered in the Johto region, Lugia will return with the new improved flying type move, Sky Attack. So gather your strongest party to take on this legendary Pokemon before it returns to the sea on April the 2nd. Stay safe and happy exploring. Now then, there are two interesting things uh, about this little bit of news. Let's get rid of that off the screen. Number one, they're changing Sky Attack, at least just for Lugia. So this is the first step towards legendary Pokemon having unique moves, um, which they, they don't seem to be in the game at the moment. For example, Kyogre's is Origin Pulse. It's a water time move and it's really strong. Um, and only Kyogre can learn it in the main series game. It's kind of a step in that direction. If this Sky Attack is only for Lugia, doesn't say that it is, but if it is, then that's the first step in that direction. Secondly, what if it shines? What if this is the first returning Pokemon with a shiny sprite? How cool would that be? Who doesn't want a shiny Lugia? I want a shiny Lugia and I know you guys want a shiny Lugia. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over how to counter Lugia. I know we've all done it before. I know that everybody is a little bit worried about the defensive capabilities of this Pokemon. How it used to be that you need 10, 11, 12 people to take this guy down. Way back when, we were all at a different level. We were all, all a lot lower level. Um, there are a lot of players that weren't as progressed uh, as there are now. And I know there are newer players out there that have only just started, who will find it as difficult as before. But hopefully with the support of more experienced trainers, um, it should be a little bit easier this time around. That's my hope. So as usual, I've made a, a bunch of notes uh, on counters for this guy. This is, a, this is not an exhaustive list. There are many, many, many counters that you can use. These are just kind of my top picks, the ones that appear in my mind when I think about how to counter uh, this guy. So, Lugia, Mark II. <laughs> When you face him in battle, he's going to have a battle CP of 42,753. It's not the lowest, it's not the highest, and it generally reflects how the attack stat uh, tends to affect CP. It has the most effect of all the three stats on, uh, on CP, and Lugia's attack stat isn't incredibly high. It's also not the worst. Um, as far as... Uh, quick attack moves is concerned, you're going to be up against Dragon Tail and Extra Sensory. Dragon Tail being a Dragon type move and Extra Sensory being a Psychic type move. So, um, Dragon Tail is inherently powerful by the fact that it's a Dragon type move and will deal quite a lot of damage on that front. Uh, An Extra Sensory, Lugia is going to get stabbed. So, both those moves are quite dangerous. Then you've got, as far as charge moves are concerned, Future Sight. The new Sky Attack, whatever that might entail, and Hydro Pump. Future Sight, it's going to get stabbed. Um, Sky Attack, it's going to get stabbed. It's a Psychic slash Flying type. Hydro Pump, however, 
tends to be one of the more dangerous ones because it, it affects some of your counters quite significantly. So be aware when fighting Lugia to choose your right counters. Try and find out which moves it's got before you go in. My number one choice, this is a new one. This was not available um, before when Lugia was around. You could not use this Pokemon. It was not in the game yet. Now it's here. Raikou. It's an electric type. It's going to be super effective against um, Lugia's uh, flying typing. Either to, to your preference, Volt Switch or Thundershock. I prefer Thundershock um, as quick attacks, wild charge as your charge move. Heading above, one of the best counters for flying types in the game. Raikou, solid counter. After that, I'm going to fall back on an old favourite, Tyranitar, with Bite and Crunch or Stone Edge. A crunch will, uh, bite and Crunch will go against uh, Lugia's Psychic Typing, Stone Edge will go against Lugia's Flying Typing. Um, be aware of Hydro Pump with that one. Hydro Pump will one hit KO your Tyranitar from Lugia, most likely. If not one hit KO, we'll leave it in really, really bad shape. Even if you dodge, it will hurt. Be aware when choosing uh, Tyranitar as a counter. Next, another fairly new one. I think r rarely this might have been around back then, but I'm not entirely sure. Mewtwo. Mewtwo is a brilliant attacker, high attack start, confusion, shadow ball, the ghost typing of the shadow ball against Lugia's psychic typing, um, he's gonna he's gonna wreck face to, to, to say what the kids say these days. Wreck face. That's what he's gonna do. Then an old favourite again, Zapdos, Charge Beam, uh, and Thunderbolt. Um, the charge moves uh, for for Zapdos. It can vary on your on your tastes. I prefer Thunderbolt. I always prefer faster moves. I think that they, they inherently deal more damage because if you get the dodge glitch or don't dodge as much, I don't often dodge, you, you end up dealing more damage. Jolteon, Thundershock and Thunderbolt, an old favourite, bit of a glass cannon, but all the dogs, all the, the, the evolutions, they're all good. They're not the best, but they are good. Another new one, Kyogre with Waterfall and Blizzard. Now Waterfall's not gonna be that good, but Kyogre's attack start is, 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 is huge. Blizzard's gonna deal super effective damage against Lugia's Flying Typing. A, a, a brilliant new choice. This is why I'm less worried about taking this guy down than I was before. There are a lot of new options, guys, and people have got good ones now that they've, they've put Rare Candy into. It, it, it's going to be a bit easier, I think. Rayqu again, another another new candidate. Rayquaza with Dragon Tail or Outrage and Ancient Power. It's a bit of an outside choice, this. Ancient Power is a rock-type move. It's going to uh, be super effective against Lugia's uh, flying typing. Um, if Lugia has got Dragon Tail, you, you're going to go down fairly quickly. But it's still a decent choice. Uh, uh, Gengar with either Shadow Claw, which is a legacy move, or Hex as a quick move, and Shadow Ball, Glass Cannon, but does a lot of damage. Maybe a good choice to put in your first slot to get your damage multiplier up quicker, um, but then again, Lugia doesn't deal all that much damage himself, so you could actually get some fair damage out of Gengar with this one. Articuno, Frost Breath, and Blizzard, still the best Ice type until we get Mamoswine, and um, Brilliant works. Uh, it, it's frost typing against Lugia's flying typing. Awesome counter. Uh, Golem with rock front stone edge. Again, watch out for hydro pump. Um, some people might argue to put armor star in at this point um, with the old uh, legacy move sets, the rock move sets, but not everybody has access to those. Um, so that's why I've chosen to stick Golem in there, just because it's easier, more easily accessible to the general player base than a, a legacy moveset on the star. I don't have a legacy moveset on the star. I, I don't think that many people do. 
They do exist though, so if you've got them, awesome choice. There are loads of other choices that you can make uh, at this point, guys. Loads of others. Um, but I reckon these are the, 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 the top choice. If you want to capture a perfect Lugia in uh, non-weather uh, boosted, you're looking at 2056, which is, was, was the only available one last time around. Weather wasn't in the game. And then if it's windy, 2570, and you'll have a level 25 Lugia. So guys, in summary, hopefully, hopefully, Niantic have given us our first shiny Sprite um, legendary Pokemon and will cycle through the old legendaries um, through the summer, either one after the other or in a kind of a cyclical effect where they do an old one with a shiny and then a new one and then an old one and then a new one. Um, and secondly, this is another chance to get a, a, a new Lugia. They fiddled with Sky Attack, which might make Lugia more viable. I mean, is... is a psychic type and has decent psychic moves but isn't the best damage dealer in that category he easily get out, gets outdone by Mewtwo he easily gets outdone by Alakazam he gets outdone by Espeon it's because of his low attack stat however he is very tanky so as far as like I don't know soloing the champs he's not really a, a terrible choice especially if you're weather boosted I mean, you, you might even be able to one-on-one -on -one him a champ with a decent Lugia. Now that would be interesting to see. Anyway guys, shiny legendaries, let's pray for it. See you in the next video guys.